The views and comments expressed on the following radio program by its hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. Everybody. Welcome to the brand new element, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh some nah how I put this basically. I told you I had contract obligations, you feel me? So basically I had two people I wasn't really coping with like that and I had to get them removed. So shout out to Nico. <laughs> shout out to Nico and Reese, you feel me? Whoa. I'm just playing. Shout out to um Miss Lola though, you know what I'm saying? They actually couldn't make it this week. Um Reese is currently trying to get down here. Um, I do not think she's gonna make it on time because we're already on time. You know, we're already, uh, you know, working. And Nico's busy doing Nico, so <laughs> you know, shout out to them. No, you feel me? They kind of did me dirty because last week I had to mess up because I had work, of course. You know, brother got to get his, his grind on, and then I had to take over the show. So now you here with the Rico hour. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? There's no more element this week. It's just Rico, baby. Just Rico. You know what I'm saying? And of course, I'm here with the homie. Of course, you know what I'm saying? Who's filling in for my co-host today, my boy DJ 3J in the DJ building. DJ 3J, you feel me? What's <laughs> up, everybody? <laughs> What's good, yo? Sure, yeah, yeah, man. So, hey, real quick, bro. You got anything to say to, uh, you know, your uh, replacements? Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's all I got to say is thank you. <laughs> you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they call in uh, later on so we can get a little update on why they didn't show up this week. You feel me? Left me out in the cold. It is cold outside, too, you know? Man, for real. You know what I hate too? The weather nowadays, man, be switching Bro. up. Like, man, it be like it be looking like five o'clock at one o'clock. Wait, no, it was just cold like two days ago. Now it's hot. It was hot earlier today. You know, LA weather is like the worst weather. Like you know what I'm saying? It be but like two, too. Tuesday is ninety, Wednesday is like sixty. <laughs> by Friday, you like in your in your like beach outfit and shit. And then my <laughs> Sunday, my nigga, you back in your coat. Like fuck that shit. <laughs> shoot, getting sick and shit. On me, bro. Shoot, I'm getting over a cold. You know. He getting a cold. That's how I go. Yeah, bro. That's a real friend. He know I'm getting a cold. <laughs> damn, damn. So, you know, real quick, though. What's been going on with your week, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Give me some recaps. My week? My mm-hmm. week was good. You know, my daughter just had a birthday. Hey. She's three. You know, hey. Big three. You know, and then, yeah. Growing up so, so fast, man, you know. That's really all I did all week was really just party with my daughter, you know. Mm-hmm. Party with my daughter. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the kids, because my son just turned two also, you feel me? Happy birthday, man. You know what I'm saying? Happy Thank birthday, you. Angel. Happy birthday to the light skins, you know what I'm saying? Took him to Chuck E. Cheese, you feel me? Man, you know what was so funny, bro? So, <laughs> we went to Chuck E. Cheese. If y'all don't know, I took my son and his daughter Chuck E. Cheese, you know, because their birthdays is real close together, you know. Four days. We got to stay close out here. And, um, man, bro, I was asleep the whole time. <laughs> I was bored as shit, bro. Wait. I fell asleep the whole time. That's I'm, funny. That's funny. I was going to go, but I'm like, nah. It's like, <laughs> uh, it's an uncle thing, you know, uncle taking the niece out, you know, yeah. You know, blessed. Kind of, I mean, you know, I was just <laughs> taking the kids. I took my niece out, my, well, you know, both my nieces, you can say. All three of my nieces and then my uh, and my son. So, you know, and we were my, uh, with my girl down there. And, you know, we had a, a interesting time. Interesting <laughs> time. They had a fun time, it looked like. That's all that counts. You feel me? Because they were all running around happy and everyone's playing games and all this stuff. And I was asleep. 
I was in and out of sleep. Chucky came and woke me up real quick. I said, bro, I'm good. Like, brother was just tired out here, man. It was exhausting nowadays, man. Yeah. But besides that, that's pretty much all I've been doing all week. Working and... Daddy duty. Daddy duty. So, shout out to the single fathers out there. It was really, you know, putting on... I'm not a single father. I'm just saying shout out to them. Whoa. Shout out to them right here. <laughs> you know, I, you know I'm, I'm not trying to say it like that. But I'm just saying shout out to the ones that, you know, trying to be there for their kids. You know what I'm saying? And... Shout out to uh, shout out to the moms too. I can't just strict moms like that. I mean, shout out to the single moms. I was raised by a single mom, so yeah. Shout out to single moms. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Big thing too that's coming up that uh, I mean, I might as well just throw out there. I mean, this is Thanksgiving week, right? Oh, oh, who cooking? Who cooking? Thanksgiving's coming up this Thursday. You know what I'm saying? That's food, beer, and football. I can't wait personally. Then Black Friday is the day afterwards, which is cool because I'm going to get paid from both my jobs, which means uh, I'm getting a new TV, y'all. No, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm really getting clothes for the kid, man. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So, man, you got some plans for Thanksgiving? Eat. <laughs> eat and eat. I'm planning on hitting like five different houses, you know? So, Bro, anybody cooking, like, let me know because I will be there for a plate. Like, cousin, <laughs> can I get a plate? Like, yeah, you know. I think my mom cooking. No, my mom's not cooking. What? My mom is not cooking this year. That's fucked up, bro. I got to scratch off someone off my list. <laughs> Wait, Why didn't you tell me that now? Because like, it's like... I'm disappointed, uh, bro. Yeah, it's cool. But I heard your sister cooking, though, and I'm over there. And I think the homie having a little Thanksgiving thing in Hollywood or something. Something like that. I don't know. Some little Thanksgiving thing. I don't know. I'm just going to eat. I'm oh, you're talking about... You're talking about... You're talking about... Uh, Light skin. Oh, okay, Yeah. yeah. Yeah, hey, for sure. I forgot about that. That's going to be turning. Bro, I just really want to eat. I'm trying to gain like 10 pounds, you know. <laughs> I need to. I'm skinny out here. Yeah, bro, you be getting bullied all the time. I'm having to say nah, you. I don't shit. be getting <laughs> bullied all the time. I don't be getting bullied. You know what I'm bullied. saying? Like, nah, bro. I, what about that day that dude on the bus was asking you for your lunch money? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga lying. God. That was never a day a nigga asked me for my lunch Why money. Why you lying, bro? He was pressing you for your lunch money, nah, too. Nah, bro. That was you. Yeah, you right, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It was me. I ain't gonna lie. Shoot, but I was, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. I think every young brother nowadays, what they do is they make a list of the houses they can go to that's cooking, okay, and they just, you know, determine the route. What's the fastest place to get to what and what? Like, by 2 o'clock, I'm at my mom's because she's already done with, like, the side dishes so I can sneak off that early food, you feel me? Then I'm going to my sister's because, you know, she's going to cook a big little potluck of a meal. I'm going to eat up there. I'm probably be full by then. Then I'm going to go to uh, well, Mama G's house. If y'all don't know Mama G, Mama G's Mama like the G. hood mama. You know, like she's just like everyone loves her. She loves everybody. Come over to like, you know, eat and drink and be merry and shit like that. <laughs> so I'm going to for sure go to G Mama house. That might be first. House. That might be first. That may be first because she's probably going to get done cooking the earliest. I think she's right. starting cooking right now. Because most, most people starting to cook like a day or they trying to be in the kitchen all day, you know. More than trying to eat Thanksgiving. My aunt do that shit, for real. Yeah. That's how I wish I in Vegas. That's my aunt and my grandma. Wait, my sister definitely cooking in Vegas. I ain't tripping. I'm going to be out there for Christmas, though. Yeah, woo, woo, woo. I'm trying to go out there for New Year's. What? Turn <laughs> wait, up. Wait. New Year's turn up. New Year's turn up. For, for, you feel me? For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? We having a little New Year's turn up. Um, It's for exclusive people only. So if we fuck with you, hit us up. You know what I'm saying? If we don't. Don't hit me up. I ain't got the time for your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know what, though? My engineer for sure just threw the number across the screen. So if anyone has anything to say to us while we over here solo dolo this week, please call in. You know what I'm saying? It's 323-965-1600. Call into the Rico show, you feel me? Because we're not the element today. Okay? This is the Rico show. You get in Rico for 60 minutes. Okay? And my time is valuable out here, so you be happy. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, back to Thanksgiving though, honestly, I'm excited, you know, like Thanksgiving to me has always been my, f well, as a kid, Christmas was like my favorite holiday, because you know, you use gifts. Of my birthday. You know, well, I don't know, because I got more gifts all about Christmas. me. My you birthday selfish? was all about me. You selfish? I'm my only kid. I was, well, no, nah, I was kind of. I'm my only kid. My sister like 12 years older than me. I'm only Okay, kid. see, my sister like 13 years older than me. My but, brother like 15 years older than but me. But when I was born, they wasn't living there, so I was the only kid. But yeah, uh, no, nah, well, I mean, I mean, obviously we're in the same situation. And I, even though I liked my birthday, it wasn't nearly as good as, you know, Christmas to me, you know. But you know, one thing I want to ask, though, like, if you could say, like, anything for Thanksgiving, like, what, what, were you, what are you thankful for? Like, you could say this year. This my year. family, but 
I'm not gonna have all my family there, you know, because my dad kind of just passed away. But you know, I'm gonna eat an extra plate for you because you like to eat, you know. Rest wow. in peace, dad. You feel me? But I'm thankful for my family, you know, my friends, you know, everybody. Really, really, really. It's just a family. That's a family get together day, and they just use the food to like, yeah, bring the people together, <laughs> and we all come together and eat. That's right. what, yeah, you know, that's how we all get along. Food, yeah. food make us get along. Man, I'm just thankful for honestly, uh, my life. Seriously, been like I said that for so many reasons because this year has been like a lot. I mean, every year is a lot for everybody, so I want to act like I'm special. But I mean, seriously, like this year has been like just one of those years where you go through it, you know. So I wanted to say I'm thankful for the people I've had around, you know, like good friends, you know, you my boy right here. You know, honestly, he didn't even know he was gonna be on the show today. I didn't even know I was gonna be on the show. I knew I was gonna be on the show today, but I didn't know I was gonna be by myself <laughs> until about 30 minutes ago. And then luckily, I, you know. He was with me, so I just had someone to come help me out. But see, that's the type of things I'm talking about. Like, just uh, my family being there for me, you know, even when they can't be, it's like, I know they, they could be if they would be, you know, if they, if they really wanted to be, you know. And then, um, just like I said, the people I've had around me, I'm thankful for all that. You know, I'm thankful for I got a two-year-old son that's destroying shit. I'm thankful. Terrible two. Hey, hey, man. Hey, get ready for that terrible two, bro. I just went through it. Get ready, because you got a boy. Different. I'm excited, different. bro. I don't want you talking about. I'm but you get you, his little you ass. You do get to really like punch him, and he just get up. I don't wanna he, punch him, yeah. bro. No, I don't you, about punch no, him, no, you like. gonna punch him. Baby punch. Baby punch. Baby punches. Baby punch. Baby, punch. Baby, punch. Baby, punch. Baby, Baby beat up. <laughs> Baby beat up. Can't really do that to a girl, you know. Gotta be all nice and blah blah blah. That's why I'm so glad I have a girl, bro. I'm so serious. I do not want to. Not like I don't want a girl. Shout out to the girls. But I just don't want to go through the talk about periods. I'm not going to lie. Shout like out. I'm about to get that out the way. Like, when you like when I'm 13, I mean, when you turn 13, bro, you're going to have all the problems. And I'm going to be just, like, chilling. No, you got to be there <laughs> <laughs> with me. Like, no. Oh, when that shit. boyfriend come in, I'm Max? Bro, I feel you, bro. Because my niece, right? All right? My niece is getting on that age, bro. My, I already know, bro. Nyla and, ne- and Nyla, they both are 12 and 11 Third, now. Yeah. So... I already told him, like, when y'all get 13 and y'all start talking about y'all like boys, I'm going to beat them all up. And I beat up kids out here. I for sure help. That shout out to all the middle schools. I beat up all kids up here. It's time to let you know. Shoot, I, I'll be damned if I catch someone's picture of something I don't want to see in her inbox. We, <laughs> Woo, where that man live at? Where that boy live at? I don't even want to think of that. Exactly. So I'm glad I got a boy. <laughs> but yeah, but um, also, like I said, um, to anybody who wants to uh, go ahead and let me know what y'all thankful for this week, you know, if it's just family, you know, if you guys just want to uh, call in and say what's up, say you thankful for having me on the element today, you feel me? <laughs> call in again, that's 323-965-1600. I think real quick, we're going to hop into our first song, you know, just to uh, give y'all some music. That's what we about out here, you know, and this is uh, Summertime by my man Maestro, you know, shout out Louisville, you know, let's get into it. Hey. Shawty say she down the ride, down the ride. It's just something about the summertime, it's something about the summertime that make you feel so different. Every time we did our first kiss, we looked through each other's eyes, look up and see the sunrise. It was a heck of a night, what a night. Riding past the Malibu Rivera toward the PCH, no sleep last night, but I feel straight living in a new day. What's in for the day? We could do whatever. I ain't even tripping. We soaking up the weather. Cause it's summertime and we on another level. Girls on Instagram be showing off their body. Asking, do you like me? Cause it's summertime and we on another level. Summertime. Summertime and we on another level. Summertime. It's summertime, yeah And I remember fireflies and mason jars I remember when life wasn't so hard Clear blue skies and shooting stars Damn, I'm on this day, summer nights We bottle poppin', we thrift store shopping. We could be on Saturday to hit the day party This is my summer and I'ma do it proper And when I get this money, the turn up is not an option We can do whatever I ain't even trippin' Soaking up the weather it's summertime, and I'm on another level Girls on Instagram be showing off their body Asking, do you like me? Tell me, do you like that? Cause yeah. it's summertime, and we on another level Big boys pushing big clips, getting money To blow it on their ladies Cause it's summertime, and we on another level Summertime, 
Fourth of July, that's when we started kissing. Butterflies and shooting stars. Who would have thought that we would make it this far? The top drop and we hit it to the moon. Is it love? Was a crime against somebody about to sue me? Uh, you understand what that really means? It's much more than summertime, baby, y'all. Summertime, summertime, and we on another level. Summertime, 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 summertime. Shout out to Maestro, you feel me? That's my boy. He came in a couple weeks ago, you feel me? He's doing it big for the Midwest right now, you know. Um, I was about to say, uh, you know, it's funny. We play summertime, and it's definitely about to be wintertime. It is about to be winter. <laughs> like, yesterday, it felt like summertime. So it yeah, did feel like summertime. Yeah, so, you know, before we went off, you know, into our little song break, our lovely and beautiful engineer over here, and I'm definitely not talking about Chris, who's not here this week. Mm. <laughs> Um, our new lovely and beautiful engineer uh, was giving us a, um, you know, oh, excuse me, Dawn, sorry about that. I, I didn't even mention their name. She had a lovely and beautiful name too, Dawn. Uh, she was actually letting us know, like, what's her favorite dish for uh, Thanksgiving, you know, what it was. So we were talking about, like, what is your favorite dish for Thanksgiving? What's the what's a dish you need there, like, you can't live without? Granted, I know the general answer would be turkey. <laughs> but, like, what's the, what do you, like, you need at your Thanksgiving table? You know what I'm saying? And of course, since I can't start off with myself, I'm sorry with my man DJ. Ooh, I need me some dressing. <laughs> I need me some dressing because it's like, but that's it's like a just hook. good. I should make that a song. I need me some dressing. Hey, hey. I need me some dressing. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I need me some dressing, though. I, I like greens, too. I don't really need them, but I like them. And mac and cheese. I need mac and cheese. That's what I need, you know. Yeah. Turkey, mac and cheese, greens. <laughs> Dressing. I'm getting cheese. hungry talking about this. On me, bro. We when we was on the when we was on the break, bro. I was talking like I was really my stomach was growling, bro. For me, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I need yes. like greens. I need your greens to be bomb. And there's a reason I'm gonna get into that in a minute. I need cranberry sauce, okay? Sauce that. And I don't mean no that real cranberry sauce. I mean the the canned nice little little what's the little circle that just pop yeah, out the can yeah pop right out yes that is my shit I don't care what can it comes out of Ocean Spray Rouse Brand okay that is bomb as hell now real quick we gonna cut cause we got someone on the line and wanna go chime in hello Y'all caller talking about Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> <laughs> well you not here to talk about something else What's well, up, y'all? That's Miss Lola on the phone. Be talking about yes, this is Lola B. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Miss Lola B on the phone right now. <laughs> y'all need to be talking about some macaroni and cheese. That'd be my favorite well, we part. Getting, we getting well, into I, it. I, I definitely said mac and cheese. I <sighs> definitely said it. Bruh. Like. Bruh. We saying like, I mean, you need certain dishes there at your plate at your day uh, table. You know, oh, I need greens. You know, he already said he needed some mac and cheese. Personally, I need mac and cheese, but I need it depends on who, like, depending on who cooks it. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, it depends on who cooks it and mm-hmm. how it looks. That's a good. I like the macaroni and cheese. It's extra cheesy. You got the cheese <laughs> and everything right there. You have, then you got the cheese on the top. That's going to make you smell like, like that. Like, this is uh, good right here. Uh, uh, that's uh, that uh, grandma's man. mac and cheese. She cook it in the uh, oven after she make it, like. Well, I'm the type of person that if I go to somebody's Thanksgiving turn up and they don't have the macaroni and cheese right, I'm leaving. <laughs> Wait, but what if everything else is good? Well, then I'm gonna just take everything else and go where the macaroni and cheese is right. I've been to say that like I I'm for sure still gonna steal me a plate. Yeah, like, yeah, everything, give me some turkey, you greens, 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 dressing. Yes. Well, then you sauce. gotta check out the dessert though. Oh, we did not nah. get to dessert. The no, we getting on that, bro. We getting on that, bro. Oh a, my god, that's oh, another look. thing, bro. Depending on who makes the desserts, it determines on who house I go to. Like, I'm Rouse serious. make the desserts. What you mean? Rouse got the good ice cream. <laughs> I'm talking about the pies. Oh, oh you is talking about pie. You can put put you your. Can we gonna get to have some ice cream and then put the pie in it. I love um, you guys. We gonna get Shout out that. to the Rico hour. You already know, girl. I'm glad you know, girl. I'm glad you know. Yeah, I tried to, to tell him. You want to explain to him why my contracts basically kept y'all from coming this week? <laughs> oh, why? I, yeah, because you know, every time you always, you know, you're not here. So me and Nico decided to give you a taste of your own medicine. Uh huh. 
you know. Right. It's tasty. So where, where, where Nico at right now? She with you? No, she at home. <laughs> See? Y'all ain't sick of nothing. Y'all just left the brother out here cold. <laughs> I see how the element it is, you know what I'm saying? Y'all trying to keep that fire and stay cold on the brother. That's what y'all trying it's to do. No, we were messing with the element of the fries today. The element of you got me fucked up? <laughs> That's cold. That's some cold shit. That's some cold shit. It's cool, though. It's cool, though, because you know, I got the homie made. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool. Y'all like, about to be out here with me and Don. Heck yeah. Shout out to our wonderful engineer, Don, y'all. I told you, like, I was just telling you, she got nothing but praise for you, girl. Get the applause ready, girl. Go ahead. Give you some applause, girl. <laughs> There you go. There you go. You suck that young applause, girl. Get, you want to get in the camera real quick, girl? You know you do. Oh, shit. All right. Y'all got to see her beautiful face next time. Man, we seen it last time. Her beautiful face was on. Everybody was sent up. <laughs> for real, for real, for real. So she Man, was so sick. I just wanted to call, you know, say what's up. Definitely show the love. Show the love. Say that I tried to make it. I'm on my way back from the Indian reservation, y'all. Damn, girl, was you gambling so, or something? Yeah, I actually was. I did oh, see your snaps. I see your snaps. I actually was. Got drunk as ever, man. I literally bought me one shot. After that, everybody else bought me shots. <laughs> they bought me drinks. I have this shit called liquid marijuana. Bro, I was just drunk. Just drunk. Nigga, liquid marijuana? Is that a drink or like a thing? Like It's a drink. Liquid marijuana. And I'm like, well, I'm a car head. So this that is perfect. Fight. That sounds fun. That's it. Well, fire. I don't even smoke. That shit sounds yeah. like it's funny. You, you really still do that again? I still do that again? Hey, it's my hour. For this hour, I'll for sure quit smoking. Y'all better just go ahead Dang, and just live with it. this hour, he's still lying. Hey, ain't no one lying. even dispute me this time, so I'm for good. For this hour, he is still lying, yep. y'all. He nope. He's still lying. Nope. Nah, nope. he ain't smoked. Thank you. Tell him. If I was there, he would have definitely smoked. No, man, no, folks. no. I gave up on cannabis. I'm good. I'm hanging up the phone. I'm done. <laughs> Wait, all right, real quick, real quick, before you get out of here, girl, because, you know, they ain't going to hear you for a whole nother week, so you got to at least let them know what you're thankful for. Mm, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Y'all ain't going to hear me for another week. A whole nother week. So what I'm definitely feeling is uh, we got a lot actually planned for next week. got to tell them because we got to get ready for them uh, for these contests and this ticket giveaways and stuff like that. We having another party bus. What else? Oh, we got this uh, uh, annual Thanksgiving fest. I will get into that later, though. But, yeah, I mean, we got a couple things. We got a couple things popping. It's not going to hear from me until next week, obviously. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I love y'all. And I know y'all definitely love me. I don't know if you love me, girl, because you left me out here stranded. Like, God damn. I feel Rico, like you know I love you, Nah, bro. bro. I feel like I feel like Tom Hanks and like no offense, but like my brother right here is like Wilson. <laughs> you feel me? Wilson. You feel me? Like if I lose him right now, I'm be like Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you left me kind of cold out here, but I still I feel the love though. You called, you called. You know, you can at least call me after. Wilson, DJ gonna go to the bathroom. Oh my gosh. Like, Where you go? I'm I'm saying, I'm gonna be a castaway out here. Y'all playing games with me. Shit. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. Shout out to the best male host on the show. Well, until <laughs> our guest host DJ Three Days came up, so this Ooh. we got two male hosts, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, wait. It's all good, bro. Cause it's all testosterone this hour. You already know the deal. You know what I'm saying? No estrogen. Whatever, here Don's the... there. Don't act like Don ain't but there. But Don, no. But see, squad. Don, you right. But she, see, see how like the dynamics normally work. It's normally like. Oh, y'all didn't hear that. It's normally like, you know, it's two on one girls versus dudes. Because it's like y'all Nico versus me. Now, it's like two versus like half of one because she's kind of in, but she kind of not in because she's on the side. You feel me? So it's like we just kind of like running shit Vibing. right now. Vibing. You feel me? You feel me? So it just worked for a player. You already know. You are too scared, bro. You're stupid. But definitely next week, we got to talk about some Thanksgiving shit, what we did for Thanksgiving, what kind of food we had. I know that's right. Here is the Thanksgiving challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Take a picture of your best Thanksgiving plate and dessert. Send it in. The winner. Nah, let's see. You probably might get a $50 gift card. I'm about to call in. I'm I know. What you mean? Did y'all hear that? If y'all didn't hear that, and y'all hearing it first right now, she said, we're doing a contest. You send in your best picture, your best Instagram, Twitter, all that picture of your plate, okay? The most... Dessert and all. Dessert and all. The most deluxuous 
spread of Thanksgiving food we see, might get a nice little gift card out of it. So. You better sit. If it ain't old, bring me a plate. Yep. Mm -hmm. So send that to uh, the Element page on Facebook. Okay. Or yeah. Element Radio Show at gmail.com. Or Element Radio Show at gmail.com. We also add uh, Instagram on a, what's that, LA Radio Crew? Yep. Yep. So Instagram at LA Radio Crew. Send us all that. All of that. You know, or you can get me personally. You know, Rico Yendo on Instagram, Rico Kilo on Facebook and Twitter. You know, DJ, you want to shut yourself out real quick? Call me DJ on Instagram, DJ Cold Blooded on Facebook. Cold-blooded. He felt like he was hard when he said that. <laughs> DJ Cold-blooded. I'm cold-blooded. Yeah. I'm cold-blooded. Oh, cold -blooded, my God. Guys. It just sounds cool. The recall, the recall already seems turned up. The first half been live. All right. Girl, I'm live. Right. Right. What you mean, girl? What you, you know I'm here. What you mean? Don't get so me started. Ready. Let me hurry up and get through this pit bull break. Look. <laughs> They'll be right back after these messages. Well, but actually, we got another caller real quick, girl. We got to cut you short. Oh, okay. Bye. I'm going in. <laughs> All right, love. Peace out. We'll see you next time. All week. right. Peace. Oh, caller. You on the line. Oh, caller. You cut me. Oh, caller. Oh. I got disappointed. I got real excited, too. I thought I got another caller and I was calling in to tell me shit, and they didn't. So. All right. Well, call me back if you're not, you know. Fuck you. And so, real quick, though. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick though, we're gonna try and hop into the uh, pit bull break. We gotta shout out to our sponsors really fast, you know, because of course they be supplying us with the good pit bull drink, even though I don't have one in my hand. <laughs> but let's get to it though. <laughs> they laugh because he had a red boy. That's funny. Wait, you want to know the funniest thing, bro? I swear that dude has no cap. <laughs> he got no cap. How you got three girls pull up on you, looking at you all like that? You don't say nothing. You drink your red bull. That's why they drove away. <laughs> That's why they you didn't say away. nothing. You didn't say hello. Now you ain't way. You just like, let me pull off my shirt real quick. Let me sip this drink. Yeah, you see me. And they saw you and they drove the fuck away too. That's the funniest fucking commercial, bro. Laughing. I'm not gonna lie. That's your comment. <laughs> Yeah, but shout out to Pitbull, though, you feel me? I hope, you know, you guys just go ahead and, you know, get a whole bunch of funding to do new commercials and then star me in it. That's all you got to do. Star me in it. I don't mind being in it. The money, you don't need him in it. You can have him in the background. Nah, I'll, well, I, I still get some video time. It don't even matter as long as I'm in the commercial. <laughs> yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. All right, so real quick, though, before we got, you know, the call with Miss Lola, uh, we were talking about um, Thanksgiving, you know, and uh, this fool you couldn't live without. And, of course, we're looking at plates that everyone loves, you know, everyone's traditional favorites. Collard greens, macaroni and cheese. Uh, I don't want to say turkey because everybody's turkey is dry, but ham. And um, cranberry sauce, which is motherfucking delicious to me. Oh, my gosh, I love some cranberry sauce. I ain't going to lie. I eat it, like, and it's weird because, like, I don't like it like, around not Thanksgiving time. Like, any other part of the year, I won't eat it. But, like, around Thanksgiving time, I eat, like, a whole can. I don't know why. But... We want to. What I wanted to get into personally, though, is when uh, talking about basically how you go to other people's houses and not everybody's food tastes the same. <laughs> I mean, basically by that I'm saying you ever had, you ever went to your mom's house and had greens. You, you ate her plate, right? Our food was delicious. You used to have your mom cook. It's the bombest shit in the world to you. And then you go to your friend's mama's house and her macaroni and cheese look a little sour and her her greens taste a little funky, like. Ugh, like, I don't know if I can fuck with this shit. Like, I don't know. Please, they turkey be extra dry. Which I understand because my mom has had the driest turkey for all my life. And I swear, like, I still just get through it. All turkey dry. <laughs> Every turkey I had been dry. 
I have to drown it in hot sauce for me to eat it. <laughs> Whatever happened to you, bro? Uh, Ever happened to you, though, bro? Like, bro, I definitely like last year. I went to like the homie house, mm -hmm. and they had some um, some dressing, and it wasn't dressing like I used to eat. You know, mm -hmm. it was like I don't even know what to call it. It was not good. Everything else was okay. I ain't gonna say it's good. It was okay. I still ate, yeah. and yeah, I was really disappointed in that dressing though because like <laughs> the dressing where I come from. Flight, <laughs> like you need Light. all that good shit. And all of it. Celery shit. Man, my, I, I, I don't even know what's in it. But my it's mom good. made one with like bacon and sausage one time. Whoa, bro, that shit was wait. fire. I know, bro. I know, I know. Believe me, I'm when gonna I, tell my mom to make that. <laughs> Cause like when I first heard it, I kind of was like, wait, what? But she like put like little, she like fry some bacon, you know, make some bacon bits, put them in there, put some little piece of sausage in there. It was. Pretty fucking flight. I'm That's true. So anything with bacon and sausages in it, it's good. You can actually put bacon in almost anything. I swear to God. But you know what? Though? I'm gonna give you a story, bro. It's funny, and it's like it happened to me some years ago when I was about 14. But it's probably the funniest story I had that relates to this. One time, um, my dad had a friend who actually passed away this year. Uh, rest in peace, to Cortland. Um, he had a friend who was throwing two Thanksgivings. He had one on Sunday because his mom was coming was gonna be in town. So he had like most of his family's gonna be in town that day. So he had them all come with some friends and uh, invited his friends over and they had Thanksgiving dinner on Sunday night. Like a big family. And then uh, another side of his basically his wife's family came and they still wanted to do dinner, so they had another Thanksgiving dinner on Thanksgiving night. And me and my dad decided to go both days. We was like, Hell, we hungry. We, <laughs> you asking us to eat, we gonna eat. <laughs> so shit, you know. So Sunday night we go over there and we eat and they have deep fried turkey, which is fucking delicious. If you haven't had it, y'all gotta try some deep fried turkey. If I'm I'm recommending everybody deep fried their turkeys this year. It's bomb. Just don't set your house on fire. Um, but he had a deep fried turkey, which was delicious, bomb and all that. And then I went back there Thursday and he had turkey, which was like store bought turkey, right? But he didn't really serve. He kept it in the oven. I didn't even know it was there. But it was a switch up, right? Was that instead of having turkey, because I guess of where his family or his wife's family from, they served duck. Whoa. <laughs> duck. Bro, they, bro, and I mean, they had to saute duck on a platter, bro. <laughs> like, it was so fucking funny, bro. You can see the little duck, like, beak and his eyes and shit. Like, it left. was just like, and then they, like, they still stuffed it. And it was kind of weird. Like, I don't know. I just didn't enjoy looking at, like, dead duck. Wait. Oh, well, you know, and, but you know what, though? It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, actually. You ate it? I did. You, you ate did. duck? They forced me. I wouldn't eat it. I can't <laughs> force me to eat no duck. Man, okay, well, no, you know you in the uh, family's house, and they're like, oh, try this, try this, try this. No, I'm okay. No, I'm nah. okay. But they continuously ask, and you don't want it to seem rude. Like, motherfucker, get out of my face. Just you say, no, I'm not hungry. You can try it. But when you got Southern family, they always want to be like, no, nah, no, nah, baby, you got, you need to put some meat on your bones. Eat this, eat this. I don't know. My family, if you deny some food, They'll turn around and fix your whole plate. And then hand you the plate and be like, it's your choice you eat it. But then if you don't eat it, they still gonna get offended. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let you make a plate and put it in my face. I'm gonna eat it. I'm I'm saying. I'm eat it. But yeah, uh, that's probably the best like story I got to that. Cause I mean there's other little things. Like there's been plenty of times I went to like my sister's house. Like my sister be cooking some nasty ass greens sometimes. Wait. Like she know, like don't get me no, don't get me wrong. As like, as a, as far as a cook goes, she gets like most improved player of the world, were uh, most improved player for like the past two years. She's been on her cooking shit. So but I'm like, bro, I didn't have some shit from your sister's house. Fire, right? Flight. I'm saying I thought she went to culinary school the way she's cooking now, like for real. But past like two years ago, nigga, she was making orange eggs and what? Some, uh, <laughs> bro, like some nasty shit, bro. She orange? got some, she got some whoppers in there, bro. She made a tuna salad. I would never ever forget. I don't even like tuna. Bro, that you shit wouldn't. Stink. Bro, her salad stink. It's not the point though, bro. Point is, bro, she made some greens one time, bro. I mean, <laughs> she had the whole apartment lit. Like this shit was just funky, bro. It was stinking like ass. We didn't even know what type of pig she put in there. It was just a pig. Wait, like, what? But you know they put the neck bone in there sometimes to soak in it. Is the neck bone? It's neck bone, right? Neck bone. Fat back. My bad. I'm sorry. Fat, Fat back. back. Oh, nah, I don't know what that Salt is. Salt pork. Mm. See, I don't really know the name of the food. I just eat it. See, if it's good, it's good. It's not, it's not. Hey. See, that's how you know you don't cook, player. I'm not a cooker. Sorry, I can't cook. Damn, bro. Not you a better, cooker. You better get you a female. Like, I can, cook. I, can, I can cook easy stuff. 
Like I can make videos. I can make a burger. <laughs> I can make some noodles. You know. I can make spaghettios. <laughs> I don't even eat spaghettios, so I can't make them. I can make tacos too. That's all right, bro. I feel you because I can make any frozen dinner like this shit. Like I'm so serious. I am. Please. I am like the Emerald <laughs> Chef of frozen dinners. Like like don't. Wait. Don't sleep on a dollar banquet, bro. I hooked that Wait. motherfucker you up. You talking about one of them hungry mans? Bro, that's that's bro. <laughs> I'll make that shit sounds like seem like a five star course, bro. You get a little chicken. I put take all you gotta do really right. It's really like poke the hole in like the mashed potatoes. Remember that? You talking about that type of dish? Yeah, that ah, that that. But yeah, no, you, you guys you, you gotta got cook it up, that. bro. You gotta cook it up, bro. You just gotta take it out the package, right? Put your little extras on it. Your little how you would spice it up, how you would you know? Then throw it in the microwave and do all that shit. And it comes out way better. And it, and then it looks like you actually just made a meal compared to you just having like a little TV dinner in front of your face. I'm saying that tree, just like that little tray that comes with it, always just like hurts your confidence on your yeah, meal. Yeah, just put it in a plate. <laughs> put it in a plate. But best believe, bro, when I was about 15 to 16, I mean 14 to 16, that two-year span, all I ate was banquets, banquet dinners. And yeah. I was making them up. That's because your like, sister couldn't cook that good, right? No, that's because I lived in Vegas with my dad and neither one of us cooked. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. yeah you, know. you can't live in a house with two grown-ass men to spend yeah. someone to cook. I stay with my sister. Like Don shaking her head too. Like hell no. Nah. <laughs> That's funny. My lying Don. You ain't lying. Thank you. Thank but you. you. I ain't lying. Know how to cook, so you can eat. Girl, I know. I, girl, wait, wait, wait. What you make? Wait, I can make anything now, girl. I'm about to. I was just about to get in that. The reason why I said that two year span. That nigga can't is cause, cook. Wait, wait. I for sure cooked before, and you've eaten it, bro. So don't even sweat me like that, bro. What you cook? Spaghetti, That's chicken. That's why. Why? Look, chicken. You ain't gonna make no neck bones. I'ma eat. You ain't gonna make no you, greens. I'ma eat. I, 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 nigga, I'll hook some greens up right now. I'm not gonna eat them. I'm gonna eat my mom greens. See, okay, that's you, you, but you already closed off to the idea of it. <laughs> right? If I made a whole meal for all the uh, all the crew, bro, everybody that be down there, right? If I made a meal for everybody and then tell y'all I cooked it, if I said Mama G cooked it, y'all sit there and be like, oh, damn, this shit, right? Mama G, y'all just fired. I'm gonna turn around and say I cooked it. Y'all gonna sit there and look stupid. I'm gonna think you're lying. I'm no, I'm gonna know you're lying. I'm going back to Don. Don, like I was saying, all right, girl, I can cook, all right? After them two years of making banquets, I was done eating banquets in Hot Pockets for the rest of my life. I said, I'm going to learn how to cook, so I spend time in the kitchen, you know what so I mean? So what's your dish? I mean, personally, right, I make this penny pasta that's bomb, like it's really bomb. Penne? Mm-hmm. I always said penny, right? penne pasta. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, well, it's, it's like a, um, normally I make it with like just a regular, uh, what's the, so sorry, not tomato sauce, but marinara. like a, yeah, marinara. Normally, but uh, I've had this also. It's like white. It's like this white mushroom sauce that I looked up online one time. So it's not like an original recipe. I'm not gonna lie, but I hooked it up, girl. And it was fire. I'm what? trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Y'all be sleeping on boy cooking skills. I worked in a restaurant for a year. I was hooking it up. Shoot, but Bro, shout a chicken. You was a all. cashier at the restaurant. I was. No, I was. Exactly. But so you I wasn't was, cooking at no restaurant. I was. I didn't say I was cooking. I said I was working at a restaurant. But that don't mean you don't learn a couple of things. Hey, best believe when you done. They say you can get some food? Oh, you about to try and hook that shit up, bro. What you mean? I'm in the back whipping up burgers, chicken sandwiches, patty melts, tuna melts. Shoot. Bro, this and show making that. me hungry. Like, I'm going to go home and yeah, eat some turkey Yeah, low-key, this is like, I feel like I'm on Food Network on, like, on here. <laughs> Shoot you. Um, but real quick, though, you know, I'm, I'm, like, just rambling, honestly. We got to go ahead and get into these songs, man. Seriously. What? I know it's the recoil hour, not the element. We still play music around here. So real fast, we're going to get into KZ Boy, my favorite song, Whoop. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy. He got to come on the show real quick. Yo. 
a hoe and she been whooping it all night and now she whooping on the floor. I said I'm whooping up with your bitch. I'm I'm, I'm whooping up with your hoe and she been whooping it all night and now she whooping on the floor and now she whooping it so hard. She, she, she whooping it so hard. She whooping it all on me now she whooping no regard. I said she whooping it so hard. She, she whooping it so hard. She, 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 she whooping it all on me now she whooping no regard. That's why I came up with that. Whoop. I slide up in that. I said I came up with that whoop. I slide up in that whoop whoop. Ha. Watch me whoop. She been whooping it all night and now she got a place to go So I told Lil' Baby, let's hit the crib Lil' Baby, let's hit the crib I'ma take you out of my crib and I'ma show you what it is I said Lil' Baby, let's hit the crib Lil' Baby, let's hit the crib I'ma take you out of my crib and I'ma show you what it is That's why I came up with that whoop I slide up in that Turn up, I said I came up with that whoop I slide up in that whoop, whoop Ha, come, come, watch me whoop I'm about to download that shit tonight. I'll I'm stick downloading you right now. KZ Boy, bro, you got to hit me up, man. Y'all got to come on down to LA. Come on through to the show. Shoot. That's like everyone's hit track right there. Watch me whoop. And it's the funniest song because he don't say nothing but let me whoop. Watch me whoop. Let me whoop. And your hoe be on the floor and now she got a place to go. <laughs> Watch me whoop. <laughs> My mother start whooping, bro. You can get hoes on the floor. I'm telling you. You own. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, before we uh, went out to that song by KZ Boy, that's whoop. Um, we was talking about Thanksgiving, and now we're going to get off that because we all getting hungry in here. Yeah. All of us. So, uh, we're not going to talk about that no more. Be thankful for Thanksgiving, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I hope everybody out there has a good Thanksgiving, a good Black Friday. Seriously. Uh, if you're shopping, I say avoid. Um, avoid lines. Do online shopping. It's smart. <laughs> but real quick, though, real quick, though, what I did do, right, was get a special person to go ahead and get on the Air Force real fast, you feel me? Miss Darn, who over here talking about she's not going to get on the camera. I convinced to get on the camera for me, y'all, real quick. Oh, real quick, real, real quick, real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Let, me, let me give myself an applause real quick. Yeah. Real quick. I give you all the thank you, thank you, thank you, you, feel thank me? you. Oh. Look at the lovely and beautiful Dawn over there. Hey, she, everybody. Hello, oh. didn't I tell you she was looking bomb? Didn't I tell you? But me? thank you. I mean, this is a dope show. I enjoy engineering. Uh, I'm, just, I'm telling Chris you, gonna be upset because he might try to come back and ain't got no way to do an engineer the show. To, I'm but I ain't say him. nothing. I'm so, trying to um, tell Chris he about to lose a job. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's this about Thanksgiving and y'all not cooking? Oh, about us not. Well, personally, I mean, I don't want to cook because I'm a I'm a man who likes to eat, not to cook. You but see, me? you know that's one secret in with the ladies like. A man like nothing sexier. One, you got a man that know how to fix stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But ain't nothing sexier than coming home and a man just surprise you with a dinner. Okay, well, let me ask you a question, right? All right, come on. Don't you like to be surprised? Absolutely, exactly. but I mean, you got to know how to cook because don't be surprising, man. I got like some Wait. burnt chicken and okay. you know, okay. no, I'm saying, the green you, smelling of the house. And that's, that is true, but see, look, I'm saying if you do, if you do got a man know how to cook. Wouldn't you love the fact that you wouldn't know? And then you just come home one night. But yeah, that's the point. But like y'all gotta make sure. I'm trying to hook y'all up. Mm -hmm. Y'all gotta know how to cook so y'all can lay it down. Like lay it down in the kitchen, and you know, mm -hmm. you know. But you know, like we were talking about. <laughs> so we were talking about the AMA. <laughs> right. <laughs> AMA, y'all didn't see that last night? Uh, honestly, girl, I was working. I didn't mean, I missed the whole AMA. You didn't catch the headlines? I didn't catch. I caught some. I just caught, The one headline I caught was the Jayla was looking bad. That's what everyone was talking about. Her Jayla was looking bad. Is she like 40? She ain't a little 40, but she's killing like a lot of 20 some year olds. Um, like, I'm not even kidding right now. She is, bro. I mean, J Lo back from the block or something, bro. She getting thicker. But she, she, you know, she don't eat meat, right? She don't eat meat. She's like straight vegan. 
My bad. When you said that, I took that to a whole other type of place. Baby. All right, all right. <laughs> Here like, we I go. Went, Here like, we go. I went sideways with that conversation. I'm not even gonna lie. Wait, wait. She don't eat meat. She's vegan. Yeah. Pure vegan. Vegan, like no dairy, no, no meat, no fish. Like straight vegan. Oh, they just eat lettuce and lettuce all day. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. You know, mm-hmm. you got tofu, you got your beans, you got other ways you can get your protein. But I mean, what they're putting in food right now, you really got to be careful. Seriously, yeah. Like we we we're stepping in an age right now where the children are dying before the parents. Mm-hmm. But but okay, well let's not bore yeah, that. So that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, no, we care about talk. your health. Understand that. But AMAs, real quick, I ain't gonna mm-hmm. lie, I ain't watched the whole thing, but I did catch J Lo's opening performance and she slayed, she, she killed did. it. Okay. And then what the media was talking about, because you know she hit up uh Nikki's new track or her hit single, Anaconda, yeah. and killed it. And so it was like this picture where like Nikki was looking and then she did that long blink. <laughs> but out of all honesty out of fairness she said that she was actually looking at herself on screen so there wasn't shade and I almost gagged when I was watching uh, news online mm-hmm. and E.T. talking about some breaking news Nicki Minaj has thrown shade I <laughs> said, <laughs> like, you gotta be kidding me now no but I heard it was good you know a lot of words came out Justin Bieber was there um, you know Meek was on Nicki but mm-hmm. you know who wasn't there Jay-Z and Beyonce I oh, about to say Safari <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Safari for sure wasn't there. For sure, for sure. But Daisy, why not? Daisy I mean, I, I think when you get to a certain plateau, like, mm-hmm. you know, a certain level, like, you, know, you don't have to be there anymore. Yeah. It doesn't, like. It doesn't really phase you, like, the awards. But you know where they were at, though. They were at the Kodo fight. <laughs> That's where they were at. They they looking like a billion that. dollars. Oh, me, but, too. You know, you know. Like, I'm cool on the American Music <laughs> World. I'm going to go see this fight with my wifey, who's, like, the top. Literally the baddest world. chick in the game, Pretty like much. seriously. Like just the shit. Like we just the shit. We Hands don't down. Looking like the shit. Hands down. That. Y'all know Adele's album came out, right? I heard about that. Too. It came out last Friday. Y'all a fan? Mm-hmm. You know what? Honestly, I like her music, but I'm not. I can't call myself a fan because I can't come. Like, I wouldn't go look at. Like for example, what? I just album. I mean, like. Do, okay, like, wait. I, this question: Do you know the song that's out right now? No, that's my point. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, like it's me. Mm. Oh, I'm, I wow. have not heard it. I, I mean, I encourage you out there, too. Mm-hmm. Um, Adele is one of the artists out right now that she can just get on stage and sing. Like, there's not a lot of people. Yeah. But I ain't going to bore you with that. But I would, you know, encourage no, you to check it out, you know. I'm a, I'm a huge music head for me. But like, when I hear something like that, I, want, I get interested. Because, you know, like, to me, I, I've heard Adele. And I've heard her sing. I mean... I listened to more stuff back when she had like a uh, what's that song Rolling Deep. Um, Rolling, uh, Rolling, yeah, Rolling yeah, Deep. Rolling. Yeah, Rolling Deep. I yeah, think that's right? the name of the track. Mm-hmm. Rolling Deep, right? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say I've heard of some music by her, and it was good. Like I think she has like amazing vocals. Like I mean, she can she can blow. Like, she can you know throw it down. She does her shit. And then, like I said, she's not like she doesn't uh, portray to be a performer. Like like she's like and she doesn't have to be. She's a singer, and that's like to me, it's like she's just a soul singer. Like she just knows. But she's great at, and it's like it shines when she does it, you know. So DJ, you, you know about them? Nah, I don't know nothing about them. Ah, bro, my boy, ah. Yeah, go ahead, suss him out real quick. Like, <laughs> yeah, but bro, you got you got you got open your your range of music. If you don't know, my boy DJ 3J over here only listens to ignorant shit like AD and Compton Menace <laughs> wait, and, no, wait, Paul, and Joe no. Moses and Problem oh, and no. YG. I listen to Lil Wayne. Hello, hey. wait, 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 y'all, we got a caller on the line. Oh, so uh, we might need to go to the caller. Let's see. What's up, caller? Hey, F all that, yo. It's Chris, bro. <laughs> oh, shit, what up, Chris? <laughs> what up, Chris? Wait. That's funny. Hey, so I got off my plane at the layover. And what? then all I hear is uh, how beautiful Don is. And it ain't <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news. Because you hating all the way from the West Indies already. Yeah, that's the first thing I heard. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> I, I mean, you ain't hearing from me, but it's, it's a birdie, you know, going around saying, yeah. you know, that, you it's know. It's a grapevine, Chris. Like, I mean. I mean. Like, Wait, what? It's, <laughs> this has been going through the grapevine lately that, I mean, that everyone's starting to love Don so much that they're not oh, yeah. they're not hating you. they just kind of forgetting about you, bro. Like, that's Look, because I ain't do nothing. I just did my job. I, I, I'm doing everything you taught me. You but know? Okay. She's just doing it I'm extra just, well, I'm, I'm just going to stay out here then. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, you got to come back out here because we still got to play one-on-one for them curries, bro. All right, hey, shout out to you for them curries too. I got you, bro. Shout out, hey, shout out to me for the Foot Locker hookup. You already know the deal. <laughs> but Chris, so tell us what you doing out in the West Indies? They ain't in the West Indies. Where you right at? Right now I'm in Dallas. 
I'm in Dallas uh, on a layover if I was to go to the Virgin Island. The Virgin Island. Hey. Ain't that the West End? Oh, that's the Caribbean. Oh, the Caribbean. My bad. My bad. Hey, educate yourself. Ooh, that's you what, that's why I like it. <laughs> oh, you know I'm from Detroit and I lived in New York, right? <laughs> okay, that's all I want to do. So, you know. Wait, wait. You, know, boy. you know Thanksgiving is coming up. What you got planned? I mean... Are, oh, are y'all uh, cooking yeah, out y'all there? Y'all talking about the favorite food? Y'all talking about the favorite food? And uh, like DJ said, I like the greens too. Green boy, well, I'm greens. telling you. Yeah, any, yeah. Anybody likes some greens. greens now? So you going out there with your, uh, you going out there to see your family, or y'all just going out there to vacation? Just a vacation. He That's out there with his wife. I know. Wait, I met. I just they met might the be wife. cooking up something else. They you might know? be cooking up yeah. a baby. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Chris, man, I'm we just done, saying. Done. Hit forty. <laughs> done. Number forty nine on the machine. I'm just saying, bro. If I'm if I'm hooking you up for some baby curries next, bro, I'm gonna know what happened this weekend. Oh, she did you dirty, bro. <laughs> she did you dirty, bro. Yeah. Hey, I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> hey, but you know, shout out to Chris and his wife. You know, I just met his wife, his lovely, beautiful wife. Uh, Jessica. Past, yeah, Jessica yes. this week. So, uh, shout out to them. That's actually beautiful. I told Chris uh, the other day, I'm envious of his life, actually. You know what I mean? Because I'm so young and ignorant, like, I just don't see marriage happening to me for, like, another... 30 years? Yeah. Well, how old are you? I'm 23. Chris, you got some advice, because do you know how to cook, Chris? No. Uh... Don't oh, lie. Man, Chris, don't, don't do me dirty. Oh, I can do it. There you go. That. Tell I'll make Wait, okay. This, girl. This, this, is, this is the question. Pancakes with just egg and water or pancakes with flour, Milk. baking soda? Okay. No, girl. Do you nah, know nah, how nah, to make nah. it from the scratch? Nah, nah, nah. I get the, uh, oh. the little joints that's already, the crusties that's and already made. And your mama? See, Angel no, Mama, I can do Jemima. better than that for you, girl. I can get the mix, whip it up, girl. Ooh, butter and mix milk, it real good. You know what I'm Ooh. Hook up a nice little. So what am I coming over side. for breakfast? Mimosa, girl. That's when you ready for mimosa. Just hit me up. Oh, right. dude, that's why. That's why you like Don more than me, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you already know. You already know, bro. You know what I'm saying. But serious you topic. Know. You know Thanksgiving is on Thursday, Chris. What you thankful for? Uh, my life and my family. <laughs> Shout out to my, life my and family. Yeah, shout out to my new shoes too. You got right. some, oh, <laughs> you got some new like Jays on your feet. Yeah. Some Curry's on his feet. Yeah, so he's looking like right. the new Jordan shout boy. I gotta go get back on this plane though, but uh, I'm making a video while I'm out here, so I'm, I'll probably put it together. So right. like, on, on the element. All right, for sure. We gonna we gonna put that up on there next week, bro. All right, be safe. All right, bro, we'll say what's you. up to your wife, bro. You know what I'm saying? Trip. She gotta be on the show too one day. All right, she probably <laughs> won't, but cool, cool, cool. Peace <laughs> out. <laughs> All right, Chris. Peace right, out, bro. bro. Man, don't you love Chris? Bro, I, Chris is like my brother. I love Chris. Chris yeah. is too funny. Like, too, too funny. You know what I'm saying? And then, like I said, it was actually kind of cool actually meeting his wife. And then we were talking about this on, like, just, like, how it's, like, kind of now, like, being young and married is just, like, different. You know, like, for it's probably easier to be young and married now. It's just so much going on. It's like, like, could you be married at 25? I told, I asked Chris that serious question. Like, man, how is it being married at 25? And, you know, he was just like, you know, he loves it personally. And I think that's so amazing. And I, I just like I related to myself, and I'm just like looking at it like, man, why do I find it so crazy? Like I, I can't see myself being married at 25. Could you see that? You about to get married. <laughs> <laughs> you about to get married at 25. Watch. Why you doing? Who, like who that? you dating? Uh oh. Oh, girl, you know I try to. I'm, I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Right and Lord. Nah, I hope she ain't. She, she listening? You 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 dating? Oh yeah, she listen. Yeah yeah yeah. We no, nah, we together. We together. I'm going to put that on out there. You know, we together. You know, and it's, it's, it's no secrets to mother of my child. You know, All right. mother of my two-year-old child. Shout out you know? to the relationships, good fathers. You know, That's you know? what I'm talking about. I'm trying to All make right. it work out here. You know, family. It's my light skin family. Oh. You know? They just be driving me insane. But yeah, shout out to my light skin family. It's love out here. You know what I'm saying? It's love out here. But I'm not trying to get married. <laughs> All not right now. Not right now. Mm -mm, I don't know. Just bro, I'm, just let me know. Bachelor's party going up. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Strippers going up. <laughs> That's all y'all gotta do for my bachelor party. And scrippers and most scrippers. We are some ignorant children. Yeah. Some ignorant young men. I mean, sorry, excuse that. But yeah. Oh, but dang, we getting low on. I can't even. Uh, uh, Let's do a real fast rundown, real quick, I guess. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> it's time to go out real fast in the RMESP, uh, RMCSPN, real fast. We normally take this time out to uh, shout out to sports. We ain't shout out to sports in a good couple weeks, so I definitely had to put, you know throw this in there since, you know, it's only me. It's the Rico Hour. And I think since I haven't put this out in a long time, I think I'm going to do RMCSPN for you guys at Stug Daddy. You think it's right? <laughs> at Stug, I, think, I think it's right. Whatever. I'm still doing Shoot, real day. quick. Well, huh. uh, welcome to RMCSPN. You feel me? This is not Rico in the building. Oh, excuse me. 
This is not Rico. <laughs> this is Thug Daddy. You know what I'm saying? Just got out. You already know what I'm saying. My PO been tripping on me. Yeah, but you know, even though she's been tripping on me, I got time to watch some of these games this past Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no shout out to my New York Jets. You feel they me? Lost, they, they lost. They lost like some bitches, and I hate it. Boo -boo. You know what I'm saying? I hate them. They need to go back to the practice field and work it out because we lost three straight now. We lost to the Raiders. Oh, we lost to, to to someone else's, and I don't care. We keep losing. All right, I'm sick of your shit. All right, Tom <laughs> Bowles, you better fix your shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and no shout out to the Steelers. Oh, definitely shout out to the Steelers. We was on a bye week this week, you know. We was uh, resting for our big matchup against Seattle, you know, mm -hmm. on Sunday. We about to smash. Nobody care about that. <laughs> you just mad because y'all lost three in a row. I, I am. And we I'm on salty. a two game winning streak. Hold up, right hold now. up. You get me on my thug daddy voice. I'm salty. All right, I'm yeah, salty man. out here, player. You feel me? My girl, this man, these girls fries. on my head about it. All the homies on my head about it. Shit. Talk but, about my Jets. But. That Panthers game? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Cam, Cam, Killer Cam. That's my MVP. <laughs> so oh, I got to say, that's my MVP, you know. That and boy then, Cam Newton bad, boy. Yeah, I ain't even hitting the dab on him like, ah. <laughs> dab one more time for him. Wait, did y'all <sighs> see his coach do the dab? That's one thing everybody got to look dab. up right now. <laughs> if Ron you know Rivera. something about the dab, daddy, look up. Oh, it's Ron Rivera? Ron Rivera. Yeah, Ron, Ron Rivera. Look him up doing the dad. That is the funniest shit in the you world. You want to show us? Oh, can we? Yeah, real quick. See if you can find it on YouTube. I forgot we I got... I thought you was going to do it. Oh, the oh, dad? Oh, the dad? What you mean? I got you. Wait, real fast. One, two, three. Dad. Ah, dab on him. One, two, three. Oh, dab, dab on him. him. That's cool. You want to do it, Don? You want me? It's easy. Okay, okay, it's real okay. easy, girl. You just got it real fast. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Want to show him real quick, bro? Oh, there you go. There you go. I want to get down on the screen doing the dab, though. <laughs> Don, put yourself on the screen doing the dab. Come on, come on, wait, Don. Wait, show me one more time. All right, one more time. You ready? You ready? One, ready? two, three. Damn. <laughs> dab on him. So that's it? Yeah, that's it. That's we how had, you do. His, you we, saw his, we saw his daughter, right, Angel. Come yes. down, come down. All right, ready? One, one two, two, three. three. Dab! Oh, yeah! He turned up. Hey, she hard. She hit it the first try, too. She is hard. First hey. try. The funniest, the most turned up dab I've seen. Was my boy DJ's daughter Angel? Oh yeah, she three is. years old already in the dab daddy. She hard. Wait, all thanks to her uncle Mike and Uncle Chris. You know, shout out to Chris. You know, Uncle yeah. Chris. Big you Chris know, for helping her. You know, Big Pronto. <laughs> we teaching three year olds how to dab daddy out here. <laughs> yeah, but real quick though to wrap up our MCSPN note real fast though. Shout out to everybody seems that won this week. We had some um, injuries across the board. Uh, Terrible. Yeah, if you're a Ravens fan, it's looking bad for you because your boy, uh, <laughs> don't laugh, bro. Don't laugh because you hate the Ravens. <laughs> Joe Flacco going down. Um, <laughs> All Ravens fans. <laughs> Joe Flacco went Still down for the season. Uh, Forsett went down for the season. That's Still half your offense right there. So, And then Steve that's Smith's out, too. So, offense. Yeah, that's pretty much it for y'all season. We Sorry, you guys. Not next year. Coming back from injury, though, Dallas Cowboy fans, you got Romo back, and you got a win on the board for the first time in seven weeks. Y'all still suck. Seven. Y'all still suck. Y'all do so suck. So, you know, uh, shout out to you guys. I am know you guys are more than happy to have him back. You know, Des Bryant back playing big, too. And, um, yeah, so it's good for everybody. But we're about to be out here. For everybody, though, um, tune in next week real quick. We're going to follow. Uh, my bad. We're going to leave this with uh, That's Life by Michael Ace. My bad. I had to go ahead and look it up, but I didn't know what you were saying. I can't read my own handwriting. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. But yeah, but um, shout out to Element, you guys. You know, look me up, Rico Kilo, like I said, on um, ah, excuse me, on Facebook, and then Rico Yendo on Instagram. Shout me out, DJ Cold Blooded. That's DJ with two Y's. DJ A Y Y Cold Blooded. That's Facebook. Call me DJ. That's Instagram. And Daddy DJ is Snapchat. And shout out to Miss Dawn for helping us out this week. The lovely Miss Dawn. We gonna try and get her back to her place, Chris. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Nico, yeah. Nicole, and Lola B. Yep. And we, we out. out. We gonna be out. See y'all next week.
touching nobody This I've been in the game, so you hoes are not a challenge Lord, never call balance You can check the balance